Well, Jim, that was really uh, something. Now, I, I should, I, I wanted to do this off the top, but I should go ahead and put in this, this disclaimer. I have a contractual relationship with Rhombus Ron, Power. I'm a consultant for them. So I do have a, uh, a relationship with Anshu and, it is, and a financial relationship with Anshu. Uh, hopefully that didn't affect the quality of my questions. Um, Which, is, well, yeah, well, of course, my standard is pretty low there already, but... Uh. <laughs> Well, look, even if, if uh, the questions weren't as pitch perfect as usual, uh, it was a really interesting discussion. I mean, look, AI is the flavor, right? And yep. apparently will be for a long time. Yep. And Andrew seems to be on the cutting edge of using it in a way that's immediately useful as opposed to a lot of the AI products we see out there, which are, we're still trying to figure out like early internet, how are we going to use this tool? Yep. He's using it. Yeah, I, I mean, so I, I'm, I fairly recently have this um, this relationship with with Rhombus and I'm just I've been fascinated the whole time. Like, you know, obviously it takes a long time to build up the algorithms and the data and all the things you need in order to be able to do what they're doing uh, in all the places that they're doing it. And, and but I think it, you know, it is very helpful to be able to understand why, you know, why AI is important, you know, basically that that you can use um, essentially, you know, I, just to keep it simple, you can use computers and algorithms in order to be able to, to detect trends and anomalies. In, in, and, and as he mentioned, bring in all of those various data streams from all these different disciplines that we don't usually think of as, as, as being together in one place. You know, when, when I worked in, you know, in and around intelligence, I, I can tell you, I, I mean, I didn't think about what the climate patterns were going to be in Bangladesh in the summer of 2000. You know, so th those were not things that I, I would sort of look at the disciplines that I specialized in, and those were where I would concentrate my attention. Uh, so, you know, what you're doing is you're basically vastly increasing the number of inputs that you're getting and using the AI to sort through all that and figure out what's really important there. I guess my problem remains that you can take all those inputs and you'll have a situation like you said in, in Egypt where a guy sets himself on fire, all hell breaks loose. Or you have a situation like in Venezuela elections now where the election is stolen, but Maduro seems to have consolidated his power through, uh, I guess, by being so brutal. Yeah. So I don't know how the algorithm can guess how much brutality is sufficient to crush the uprising? Yeah. Um, well, I think that's why the I Bangladesh think that's where the is, guess comes in. I, well, but it's also where the, the the Bangladesh example is useful because the stolen election or the suspected stolen election happened in December, I believe, in Bangladesh. Um, and so, but that was not when the instability really began, and it wasn't until July with this whole question about quotas for government jobs, which again, you know, who knows that that's going to come to, you know, come to the, the surface and be the sort of the, 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 the match that lights the tinder. Uh, and somehow the AI was able to assist Rhombus in making that particular uh, projection. So it is really fascinating. And, and one suspects it's only going to get better because they will continue to fine tune and fine tune and get more and more different kinds of data and the right kinds of data. So 